Well, I thought of Ruth this week when I heard of Randall's solo because one of Ruth's favorite pieces, which was sung at her funeral by someone in our community, one of her favorite poems and musical pieces that she quoted often were the words that Randall sang a few moments ago. I'll walk with God from this day on. God's helping hand I will lean upon. I will lean on God forever, and God will forsake me never. I will walk with God. I'll take God's hand, I'll talk with God, God will understand. God's hand will guide my whole life through. I will never walk alone while I walk with God. And Ruth did that and discovered that it was true. held her hand and never let go. Will we? When you've made other plans and life changes those plans, whose hand will you hold? Whose hand will hold you? Was crucified, dead, and buried. 
he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Let us pray. In the words of the psalmist, Lord, it is good, it is good to give thanks to you. And we know, O oh God, that at the work of your hands we must sing for joy. And yet, O oh Lord, we see in our world works that are not good, that cannot be from you. Or if they are, we do not understand. And so as your faithful people, and as those who have come before us, we cry out to you, O oh God. We cry out and ask that once again you take hold of our hand. We come to you and ask that you would cause change for the better. Calm those who suffer. Calm their bodies, their hearts, their souls. And lift us up, O oh God, to something better. In order that we might lift up one another. We pray for places where violence and corruption reign. And we pray for places where the struggle for power gets in the way of peace. We pray for other countries around the globe. And lest we be too proud to ask for help, we pray for our own country. In our prayers for all kinds of places that are far away from us, help us not to forget the treasure stored in every human life in those places. Let us remember their faces and names, their families and relationships, for you do not forget them. Be present, O oh God, with all who continue to foster division and hate. Heal the wounded places in their hearts. We continue to pray for those affected by COVID-19 and other illnesses, and for those who mourn loved ones. For the, for the unemployed and financially distressed, and for all those who lead us. We pray for hope even in the midst of hopelessness, for when it seems like the evil is never going to end, when it seems like the hill is too high or the good choice requires too much sacrifice, you remind us of all that is possible, from the little mustard seed of faith you plant in every human life. Sickness and death need not leave us mourning for too many days, for in three days you raise Jesus Christ. And you gather us today because we know and believe that death will never have the last word. May we always remember, O oh God, that you have the last word on today. And that word is good. And because of that, we can have hope even to face tomorrow and the tomorrows yet to be. 
May we be the ones to carry your good word of hope into the world as a sign to our neighbors and all that we meet that you, O oh God, are love. O oh God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer, work through this moment. Work through our lives, our communities, and our congregations. Work through our pain and our anger, our longing and our hope. Beginning with us, <coughs> transform this world you love so much into a world of love in action that trusts and honors you. All this we lift up to you, praying as you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. For those of you worshiping at home or have downloaded our bulletin for today, our, our, our next hymn is to be found on the last page of the attachment that I sent for you to download. This hymn will be unfamiliar. I'm warning you of that from the start. But I chose it. I borrowed it from our friends from the, uh, from the Lutheran tradition. I chose it. One, I happen to like the tune. But even more important, I chose it because of the text of this hymn. So maybe hum the tune at first and follow along. And I invite you to pray the words of this hymn as well as we close our worship today.
courage. Hold on to those things which are good. Return no person evil for evil. Support the weak, help the suffering, honor and love all people, even as God in Christ has loved you. And remember in those moments when you feel as if you're, you are losing your grasp on God. God will never lose God's grasp on you. Never. So until we meet again, may the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all those whom you love and with all those whom nobody loves.